Well now let's have a look at the Roland M480 Live Mixing Console. This is the flagship console of the Roland B Mixing System. It is the second generation V Mixer and replaces the M400. Importantly, it's the same price as the previous model at $13,995 in Australia. This comes with 48 mixing channels plus 6 stereo returns for a total of 60 channels. The V mixing range includes a growing family of digital snakes, personal mixing and multi-channel recording solutions. What do we think? Look, it's got more DSP, it's got more features, it's, it's more of everything for the same money. I like the, 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 the layout of it. it. It looks easier to operate. It's got more things in front of you. I'm an old bloke and I, I like to have a little few knobs to play with uh, and not just go into a screen and fiddle on a screen. It's got things I know. Yeah, and it's a it's few really important additions on that note is um, fan and power and pad buttons. Oh, I don't have to go for hunting for it. You, don't, you don't have to go for a screen for that. You uh, could mix without the screen on this. Yeah, you, you can. could actually you could. You could do a show without referencing the screen. I think the problem with a lot of digital audio consoles is the tendency for audio operators to be looking down, whereas with an analog console you tend to be looking at the show. Which is it, you, what you're saying is people should uh, start learning how to mix with their ears again. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> how different is that? Radical <laughs> concept. What do you think, Pete? Is a good machine? Um, well, I have some questions about interoperability. This is when you it's want to take one. your desk and you want to hook it up to somebody else's MADI system or other kinds of snakes and so forth. Obviously this thing depends on its own React proprietary brand snaking system to work fully because its front end is actually sitting on the stage. Um, but th that does affect your ability to hook into other people's systems. On the other hand, you, by staying within one brand, you're actually pretty much guaranteeing the whole thing's going to work and not fall over and give you a really bad time on a show. <laughs> On that note of um, interoperability, uh, I can't tell you how much it is, but there is a Maddie to React bridge, um, which will pull 40, I think 40 or 48 channels off a Maddie stream and convert it to React. Which makes it a really good proposition. Yeah. So that's got flexibility. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, if you've already got like a, 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 a Maddie based snake system, um, this and the bridge box, I can see it as a really good front of house desk, but what about for fallback? How, ma how many sends am I going to be able to get out of it? 24. How many do you want? 24. 24. It's, it's 16 auxiliary and 8 matrix, so it's set up the same as an M7C L, which is pretty all right in the middle of the market. Right. Yeah. And, especially for you, Cole, there's a killer app. Could you please hit the help button? Thank you, James. Here we go. Help button. Look at that. Menu on screen. Hallelujah. I don't need to take my book. Exactly, no manual required. Yeah, and, and for an old venue manager, I can throw somebody onto that who's my sound guy's rang in sick. I can get someone who's not a great expert and he doesn't have to read a manual frantically. He can get something up, he can make noise, and if he's got a problem, he can fix it. Mm. Professor Collis had um, an observation about the help screen. Yeah, of course, I'd like to have a little like video screen come up, up on it where you can watch a little guy telling you how to use the desk. So you oh, could probably watch YouTube at the same time. <laughs> so if the show's really boring, mm. you can put your headphones on and watch a YouTube movie didn't while you, you're mixing the show. You used to do that with um, cassette Oh, tapes yeah, I used to listen to a cassette. Sometimes the band was really bad. I'd, I'd turn on the Sony cassette deck, put my headphones on. <laughs> the best of band, Joe. <laughs> yeah, pretend to mix the band whilst reading a book. Yeah. That's Guilty. <laughs> that's charged. No, nice. but I, I think it's a good unit. I, I like it. it it's a good size. I mean, the technology has changed from old blokes like me where we used to have lots of knobs. It hasn't got lots of knobs. The driving end of it's there in front of me. I, just, I like it. I, for me, it's a tick. Mm. I, would, I, I would use that slowly. What about the boot up? Oh, the boot up. Do you want to say? Oh, yeah, so how do you log off? Okay. You log off like this. You, you turn, turn off the, the power, power. switch. <laughs> it's okay. It's All okay. Right. You're ready? You haven't killed it. Okay, so turn it on. One, One two. two. Three, four, four, five. Oh my gosh. And that's Are you kidding? running. Now. Five seconds, yeah, that's Well, we were slow. counting fast. It's yeah. closer to four, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's good. But yeah, I mean, look, the, the boot ups have functioned. The, it was always fast, but it's faster now. Um, the boot up uh, is a function of the new DSP. There's, there's a whole lot more juice in the tank as far as actual processing power goes. 
And that's also added in some other functionality like there's more graphic EQs. There's, um, as well as your 48 mix channels, there's now six stereo returns. Uh, you've got full four band parametric on, on every channel and you can choose what kind of curve you want on each filter. And you know, input delays. And you can, you can apply more processing to a mix than you should. So that, that's, uh, that's a mixed blessing in some ways. You know, if you need to, to do that much processing, you can. But the flip side is that it's probably going to encourage people to do things they shouldn't to their signals. Seems a, a very solid solution, a system solution, not just a mixer. OK, so help button, killer app. Um, sits in the middle of the market. Um, four years in digital consoles now is a complete generation. And um, this is right up there, right now. There it is. Yeah, I'd it's, buy one. It's more go for the same money, uh, and it's around about 25k once you add the snake in. To me, it's 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 still good value, and it's better value. 